Okay, what we're going to look at now is adding vegetation um, alongside the road here. Um, let's get right into it. So you go to Terrain Menu, Vegetation, and this first icon is called Add Vegetation Object. Um, now you can just add, add rocks for vegetation, you can paint them on. So first of all I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to choose a medium beach rock. If you just simply click on the beach rock and hold down Shift and click, you can add vegetation objects like so. You can even move them around with the Move tool. Let's add another one over here. You can rotate them. You can even give them shadows. Let's see if this is going to work for us. So under the um, where you've got the vegetation objects, there are all the parameters. So down here, you've got three little boxes. You can cast shadow, receive shadow, and you've got alpha blend as well. Okay. And it's possibly not happening because my config spec is not high. So let's just put the config spec on high and let's see if the shadows occur. Often when you have the config spec on low, um, uh, some of the physics environmental effects do not work. Okay. Yep, so as you can see, we've got a shadow there now by the rock. I'm just going to change the config spec back to medium. Um, and we're going to look at um, putting some grass in now. So to do this, I'm going to click again on the um, uh, add vegetation object. I'm going to go to natural. We're going to look at uh, ground plants. We're going to go into grass. I'm going to just choose grass A. Click open. I'm going to select grass. Let's look at some of the parameters as well. So at the moment I've just got one size of grass, no size variation. When I plant my grass I'd like to have them randomly rotated. Um, Bending is how much they bend in the wind. Now, depending on your conflicts because of your computer, it's great to cast shadows on trees and grass, but I often don't do it on grass to keep the frame rate up. Um, so we'll do that later with trees. Sprite distance ratio. I usually have a ratio of 3 and 5. Alright. And what this does is it's, it's really the draw distance when seeing the grass so you don't see the grass everywhere at once um, and you can use, decide to use sprites or not okay so again I can just click on grass which is selected in red I can go shift click and I have some grass down here as you can see or I can decide to click paint objects set a brush radius and now I've got a whole patch of grass like so I can change the density of this patch of grass by going to density and setting them at about um, apart 5 meters. So I'm just going to delete this patch by holding down control and left clicking. Now I've set the density at 5 and now there it is less dense. That's how you change the density. Alright. Let's add a little bit more um, grass out here and out here. Next what we could look at is um, planting some palm trees and only planting the trees where the gravel is. Now I don't know if palm trees are growing gravel that well but let's go ahead and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we go back to the natural and we go to trees and we've got palm trees here. Choose a large palm tree. Okay, now I'm going to change the size to 2. I'm going to vary the size by point. 2.5 and you'll see what this will do soon and I'm going to we'll look at cast shadow soon so I'm going to shift click and put a uh, one tr palm tree here all right and let's see what happens when we hit cast shadow so we've got cast shadow receive shadow alpha blend all right so we need to change the config spec back up to high to receive the shadows 
And then what I'm going to show you is how we can, um, there we go, there's the shadows working. So we go, I'll just take these, to untick these boxes. We have car shadow, and then receive shadow, and alpha blend. You see the difference with alpha blend. Here on the leaves, that blend gives it a nicer look. All right, so let's say you want to just, um, you can always, I've showed you how to use a brush. We could use paint and just brush on the trees like using a brush. I've also shown you how to change the density. Let's do that again. Let's have the trees 10 feet or 10 meters apart. All right. It's probably more 10 feet apart. The next thing you can also do is decide just to choose to plant the plants on a texture you've made. So if I want them to plant them on the on the um, sand layer, I could just simply press sand, and they'll go wherever I have got sand. So this is near road. This is the gravel texture. All right. If I change the density to say 30, the plants will vary their density again. Okay, not so good having plants in the middle of the road, so let's untick that. Let's click on sand, and now wherever there is sand, um, you have palm trees. It's quite a nice feature. You can decide um, to have vegetation on certain terrain layers. Okay, so in this tutorial I've shown you how to add um, some, a simple grass texture, how to paint on objects, how to vary the density, um, how to put in... Um, some bigger vegetation such as the palm tree, how to apply shadows. Right, and it's really up to your own artistic ability how you'll build up the landscape from there.